Hello everyone. In today's video, we shall discuss exercise 1.5 of chapter 1 number systems. This is the last exercise of the chapter and it has three questions with subdivisions. So we are going to solve all the problems in this video. First one, find. The question is 64 to the power of 1 half. First step is find the prime factors of 64. 64 start with 2. 2 3s are 6. 2 2s are 4. Again divided by 2. 2 1s are 2. 2 6s are 12. 2 8s are 16. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. So we got a 1. We will stop. It's done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 64 can be written as 2 to the power of 6 in the exponent form. Equals to 2 to the power of 6 to the power of 1 by 2. That equals to here we are going to use the law of exponent which is a to the power of m. The whole thing to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m into n. So when we have power of a power, both the powers get multiplied. 2, 6 into 1 half. Cancel out. 2 1s are 2. 2 3s are 6. So that equals to 2 to the power of 3. Here 1 is remaining. So 3 into 1, 3. Now 2 to the power of 3 means 2 is multiplied 3 times. 2 into 2 into 2. That equals to 8. So the answer is 8. Let's do the second one. 32 to the power of 1 fifth. Same way we have to do. Find the prime factors. But here we have already found it. See. We started from 64 and then we got 32. So if you just hide this, this will be same thing that we need to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means 32 can be written as 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 5 within brackets to the power of 1 fifth. So using the law of exponent, 2 to the power of 5 into 1 fifth cancels out 2 to the power of 1 that equals to 2. The third part of this problem, 125 to the power of 1 third. So find the prime factors of 125. This goes by 5. 5 twos are 10. 2, 5. 5 fives are 25. 5 fives are 25. 5 ones are 5. So this can be written as 125 is 5 to the power of 3 equals to 5 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 third that equals to 5 3 into 1 third that's all in exponent 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 so we are left with 5 to the power of 1 answer is 5 moving on to question number 2 that's again fine first one 9 to the power of 3 over 2. 9 can be written as 3 squared. 3 into 3 is 9. So 3 squared to the power of 3 by 2. a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m into n. So 3 squared multiplied by 3 by 2. This comes out. 2 2 cancel. 3 cubed. 3 cubed means 3 into 3 into 3, which is 27. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So 27 is the answer. Next, 32 to the power of 2 over 5. So we have seen in the previous problem that 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. To the power of 2 over 5. Applying the law of exponent, 5 
into 2 over 5, 5, 5 cancels out, 2 squared, 2 into 2 is 4. Third one, 16 to the power of 3 fourth. So 16, if you find the prime factors, 2 8s are 16, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4, the whole thing to the power of 3 fourth. Applying the law of exponent, 4 into 3 over 4, 4, 4 cancels, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So answer is 8. The fourth part of this problem, 125 to the power of minus 1 by 3. So there is a minus in the exponent. So first step is again same. Find the prime factors of 125. 125. 5 into 25. 5 into 5. 5 ones are 5. This we have seen in the first problem also. So 5 to the power of 3. And outside we have minus 1 over 3. So there's 5. 3 into minus 1 by 3. 3, 3 cancels. So it's 5 to the power of negative 1 and this can be written as 1 by 5 because we know that a to the power of minus m is equal to 1 by a to the power of m. Using this law we can write the answer as 1 over 5. Moving on to the third problem simplify. First one, 2 to the power of 2 thirds dot means times multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 over 5. Now here we are going to use the law of exponent which is a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So when we have the same base and different exponents, the base remains the same, add up the exponents. 2, 2, same base, different exponents. So this equals to 2 to the power of 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. 2, find the LCM of 3 and 5, 3 5s are 15. 3 5s are 15, 5 2s are 10, plus 5 3s are 15, so 3 1s are 3. Addition of fractions. If you don't know addition of fractions, you can go and check the video of addition of unlike fractions. It is there in the channel. So that equals to 2, 10 plus 3 is 13, divided by 15. This is the answer. Second one. 1 over 3 cubed to the power of 7. This we can write as 1 cubed by 3 cubed to the power of 7. Because 1 into 1 into 1, it will be 1. So, we can write it. Now, the law that we are going to use is a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m different base same exponent is equal to a by b to the power of m. So this is 1 by 3 to the power of 3 into 7. 3 is the power of 1 by 3 and 7 is outside. So this is again the law a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m n. So that equals to 1 by 3 to the power of 21 or we can write it as 3 to the power of minus 21. Third one, 11 to the power of 1 half divided by 11 to the power of 1 fourth. 
So the law of exponent that we are going to use here is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Same base, different exponents. Then we just subtract the exponents. So here 11 1 half minus 1 by 4. Find the LCM. 11. LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. 2 2 is a 4. 2 1 is a 2. 4 1 is a 4. So that's 1. That equals to 11 to the power of 1 by 4. And the last part of this problem is 7 to the power of 1 half multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 half. So here we have different bases, same exponents. So here the law that we are going to use is a to the power of m into b to the power of m different base, same exponent equals to a into b to the power of m. So 7 into 8 to the power of 1 by 2. 7 8 is 56. 56 to the power of 1. And that's the answer for the last one. So this was the last exercise of chapter 1. There are many videos of class 9th on this channel. Please go through them and if you like this video, do share with your friends. Thank you.